Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jahan, in case you're new. In this particular reading, we're going to be getting some messages from the person on your mind, their thoughts and feelings. I felt really drawn to do this reading because it's been a while since I've done it. Um, so maybe the person on your mind has a lot they need to say. So intuitively pick whichever option you feel the most drawn to. As per usual, timestamps will be in the description box. And remember, everything that comes out isn't going to be for everybody. So use your own intuition to figure out what's yours and what's not. This is going to be option number one. Option number two, option number three, and option number four. And I hope you enjoy the reading. Okay, so I'm picking up just intuitively, if I can't have you, then nobody else will. Maybe this is the kind of person that sabotages anybody that tries to get with you. Um, but at the same time, they're not necessarily doing right by you, but they don't want to see you with anybody else. This is someone who could be very jealous um, when it comes to you, very possessive over you. Um, for some of you, this is someone who has a lot of money or they're financially stable or they're about to be very financially stable if they're not already. So let's take a look at the messages. It says, let me go. You deserve all the good things in this world. And right now I'm not in a space to give you the type of connection you deserve. Live your life and let me go. So they act like they want you to let them go. But again, they're very possessive, possessive and jealous. If you do try to date somebody, you know, it. I'm hearing it like it makes them feel tight in the chest. But they know, like I said, intuitively, they know that they're not stepping up. Right. And instead of like either loving you or leaving you alone, they try to sabotage. Or they, they, they think about it, even if they don't act upon it, they think about sabotaging um, new connections or people that come towards you. So I don't know what's up with this person. It says nervous. You make me nervous. Even just thinking about you, I get nervous. I'm not sure what to say or how to act around you. So if this person acts weird around you, it's because they're nervous around you for whatever reason. Um, they're also nervous that somebody's going to like take you away from them or be with you to where they're never going to have access to you ever again. I am not sure I can meet your expectations. The pressure is too much for me. So again, you know, this person, the reason why they sabotage connections or they're jealous and envious is because they feel like they can't give you what you deserve. This is why they want you, they want to let, they want you to let go of them. Or at least that's what they say or act. But deep down inside, they really want you, even though they feel like they can't give you what you deserve. You put this person under a lot of pressure. I'm picking up this person has placed you on a really high pedestal. I'm afraid that your feelings for me are not mutual. This person feels like you would reject them or that you don't love them as much as they love you. Again, they place you on a pedestal. They feel like you're better than them. Is it, uh, is it all too much? Or excuse me, it is all too much. Huh. Yeah, they feel like this is a lot for them. Look, li literally, it's coming out twice. And I shuffled these cards. I didn't look at these cards. So it's too much is coming up twice. They feel like you're too much for them. Some of you, maybe... Um, like I said, some of you, this person is already financially stable, but they feel like they can buy your love, but even that's not enough for those, those of you who are dealing with somebody who's very wealthy. Maybe this is someone who tries to buy your love for others of you. This person isn't quite there yet. They're not financially stable just yet. And they feel like maybe being with you, they can't afford to be with you. They can't afford to provide for you like how they should ladies. If you're dealing with a man. And then we have I want out. Yeah, so like I said, what I was picking up intuitively is like, if I can't have you, nobody else will. But then again, they're not really stepping out. 
And it's almost like with this let me out and I want out, they really want to be with you. But at the same time, they feel like if they stay with you, they can't really provide for you or give you what you need in a connection. This could be like they can't give you what you need emotionally, physically, or even spiritually, or for some of you financially. And because of this, they either sabotage the connection you have with them, but they also tend to sabotage if you try to get with somebody else. Something about this person is just really confusing. And they always give you mixed signals as well. And it's because they're intimidated by, intimidated by you and you make them nervous. So yeah, this is, this is the message from the person on your mind. Um, like I said, it's not going to be for everybody, but this is a very confused, confusing energy. Um, I'm going to get some letters here. So this could be your initials, their initials. We have J, A, H, T, K, O, N, S, S, O, N. Some of you, this person could have a son. You could have a son. They could have a son. Maybe some of you have a son or a child together. We have H, F, O, M, X, S, Z, C. Some of you, this could be like an X of yours. M O is M O Missouri. I think it is. I could be wrong. The Bay Area is coming up. Somebody could be from the Bay Area with this S F San Francisco. Somebody has a cat. You are this person. Yeah. So like I said, this could be your initials or their initials. Them J's up backwards. There it is. So yeah, that's what I'm um extra small. Some some of you you maybe your size is extra small or maybe you're losing weight. Maybe this person is watching you glow up and become a better version of yourself and they feel very intimidated by that. But yeah, this is what I'm picking up if you were drawn to the green diamond. Like I said, it's not going to be for everybody. So ignore what you feel doesn't apply. Maybe if it doesn't, if it's not your story, maybe pick another option. But I'm going to end it here. Infinite abundance as always. You'll see me in your next one. Bye. Okay, if you're drawn to the red diamond, whoever it is that you have on your mind is very passionate about you. There's a lot of sexual energy, lust. Um, you guys have, have really great chemistry as well. This person finds you to be very sexy. Let's take a look at your cards. It says, not the right time. I am overwhelmed with responsibilities. I don't have the time or energy for a relationship. So this is a, one message coming out. Maybe this person, they find you to be very attractive. They think you're very sexy, um, but they just feel like they're not ready to commit. They don't want anything serious right now. Um, for some of you, uh, this person may just want to have fun with you sexually, have sex with you, but they don't want anything serious. So if that's not something you're looking for, um, I would be careful with this person. Don't get attached. Don't get your feelings hurt. If possible, maybe don't even be intimate with this person because they're not if if you're looking for a commitment that is I'm I'm just picking up. They're not in the space or energy to give you um, a relationship if that's what you want. They do feel like you're special. They say you're truly divine. I've never felt energy like yours before and I can't get enough. So maybe this is someone who likes to be around you. They like your energy. You make them feel very comfortable. Again, they, they feel like you're easy on the eye. But I'm just picking up, again, this person, something about them kind of seems also disingenuous. Like, for some of you, maybe they are, they will be up front with you and tell you they're not ready for a relationship. But for others of the, others of, why can't I talk? Others of them will try to lead you on. So just be careful. It says, I cannot be vulnerable with you. I'd rather hide in the darkness before I let you see inside me. Some of you, this person is emotionally un unavailable. This isn't the kind of person who's super emotional or who can even give you what you need or what you want emotionally. 
this person is all about sex. That's the deepest they can go. But as far as real intimacy and emotions, um, you're not going to get it with this person. I have karmic debts that need to be paid before I can come back to you. So for some of you, maybe this is someone who's a karmic or they could be in a karmic relationship. Yeah, I, I would be careful with this person that you have on your mind. Please do what is best for your heart. Yeah, so they're letting you know you need to do what is best for your heart. Because again, if you're looking for a relationship, this isn't the person for you. Maybe if you want to have fun, if you just want to hook up, have fun, have a, you know, get have sex once or twice and move on, then yes, maybe this is the person for you. But if you're the kind of person who's sensitive, if you're looking for a real connection, a real heart to heart connection, a real relationship that may even lead to marriage, you're not going to get it with this person, at least not now. So just be careful. And they're literally telling telling you do what's best for your heart. Some of them may be honest about this and they'll tell you right off that bat like hey i don't want anything serious but some of them may try to lead you on and the moment they get you in bed and they get what they want they're going to just ghost you so be careful i feel lonely this person um they feel lonely because there's they don't have any emotional depth even if they do they haven't tapped into that side of themselves or they shy away from that Maybe that's something that they need to work on, but like that has nothing to do with you. So again, if you're looking for something serious, if you're looking for a relationship, you know, again, you're not going to get it from this person. So let's get some initials. Ooh, these just came out. I do not mean to do that. Okay, so these came out. We have F, C. These could be your initials, their initials, D, M. Maybe some of them you guys communicate through the DM. Or they're going to uh, contact you through the DM. For some of you, this could be an ex. Literally, ex is coming out. Could be an ex of yours. We have Z, U, L.A. Some of you... Oh, wait. I thought that was... Yeah, we do have L.A. Some of you, your person could be from California, Los Angeles. I'm even picking up on Louisiana, too. We have LV as well. Maybe this is someone who likes high-end designer items. We have B-A-S-I, bias. Some of you could be biased when it comes to this person. You don't really listen to advice because maybe you're, you're in love with this person. So maybe even with this warning and you know this reading is for you, you're still going to go and get with this person. Also, we have LV, can be Las Vegas. So Nevada, maybe you or this person could live in Las Vegas. Or you went on a trip to Vegas together or they're going to ask you to go on a trip with them. We have M.M., MMA. Maybe some of you, your person could be into some form of martial arts. We have HB, HBU. Some of you could have went to university or college with this person, or they went to a they went to an a historically black university. If I can talk, oh my god. And then we have SON. For some of you, this person has a son, or you have a son, and then we have VV. VVS diamonds for some of you maybe this person um they dress really nice maybe they really like jewelry or maybe they 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 sell jewelry or something about jewelry is significant maybe this person could have given you a chain or something or a ring or this is the kind of person who will spoil you take you out have a lot of fun with you because they like to be around you shit have sex with you but like it's not going to go any further than that SA, South Africa, I don't know. Maybe this person could be of African descent for some of you. Is this music? Maybe some of you, this person does music. Do we have a C in here? No, we don't have. Yeah, we do. Music. Yeah, maybe some of you, your person could be into music or you have the same taste in music. Ava, somebody's name could be Ava or A initial in their name. I don't know. Like I said, these could be initials. But yeah, that's what I'm picking up. If you were drawn to the red diamond, be careful with this person. Um, I'm going to end it here. If you like how I read, consider ordering your very own video or email reading. All of the information for that will be in my description box. Until next time. Bye. Oh, yeah. Look, it literally says SEX. I hope you're not gone. 
Yeah, this person just wants sex for a lot of you. You, I mean, you see it yourself. You can't make that shit up. Oh, look. I also, I look, you kind of see famous. For some of you, this person could be very popular or they have some sort of level of fame or they work around or deal with a lot of people who are famous. Anyways, yeah, I'm going to end it here. Okay, now you can go. Bye. <laughs> If you were drawn to this um, yellow diamond, the person on your mind, I'm picking up, you've been trying to get their attention or they've been trying to get your attention intuitively. Um, but let's take a look at your cards. I think these are upside down. So, oh, anyways, will you listen? There's so many things I want to say to you, but will you hear me all the way out? Will you believe me? So like I said, this person... Um, it's trying to get your attention because they want you to listen to them. They have something to say to you. I'm hearing like you're not going to believe it. Like they feel like whatever it is that they have to say to you may not believe it. Some of, for some of you, I'm picking up what, what they'll say to you will make you very happy. Maybe for some of you, they're going to confess their feelings for you or ask you out or ask you to be theirs or something like that. Yeah, you're my soulmate. For, so for some of you, this person has awakened to the whole soulmate connection situation. So maybe this is someone who has always been into that stuff or they're now just awakening to it. So they feel like, man, if I tell um, Option Yellow Diamond that we're, that we're soulmates, are they going to believe me or are they going to think I'm crazy? This person literally wants to tell you that you guys are soulmates or that they think you are soulmates. It must be written in the stars because you most definitely are my destiny. We belong together. They feel like the both of you belong together. So like I said, this is someone who wants to get your attention. They want to talk to you. They want you to listen to them. And I don't know why they would be wanting to get your attention. So for maybe for some of you, this is someone where there's been little to no communication. Or maybe you're just friends or like something about them wanting to get your attention. But eventually, whatever it is... Whatever it is that they'll have to tell you, I'm picking up for a lot of you. It's going to make you very happy. I need to free myself from fear and doubts. I'm a, a cage bird. I'm a cage bird. Some of them, they're afraid that you're going to reject them or you're going to think that they're nuts. When, you tell, when they express to you that you, you both are soulmates, some of them don't even know that like you're into tarot and soulmates and all that shit. So they're going to feel like, dang, will they even believe me? <laughs> this is funny. They have a lot of fears and doubts about letting you know how they truly feel. And they truly feel that you, you're you soulmates. I am keeping secrets from you and I, and I hope you don't find out. So I'm picking up this secret. Some of them, have, they've been getting readings on you. Or they've been asking people about you. And they're hoping that you don't find out about this. The person on your mind is really into you. They could even be obsessed over you. They stalk your social media. Some of them, if you have social media, they walk, watch you from a fake page and they're hoping you don't find out. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Look, I can't even talk. I almost choked over my own spit. Oh my God. So this person is finding it hard to communicate with you. But I'm also picking up whatever secret they're holding back from you isn't bad, but they find it embarrassing. Maybe some of them even masturbate to your pictures and like they don't want you to find out because that's embarrassing. You know what I mean? Whatever secret they're holding back is something embarrassing. That's why they don't want you to know. I can't come to you now. They feel like they can't come to you now. They're not ready, mainly because they fit, they're scared and they're doubtful. And like they said, they feel like they're a caged bird, like. You know, they feel stuck in this situation of not being able to express how they feel. Partly because some of them feel like you're going to reject them or because you're not going to believe that you, that you, according to them, not your soulmates. <laughs> this is funny. And last but not least, um, what is the truth? I was literally about to ask you, this person on your mind, do you feel like they're your soulmate? Because they feel like you're soulmates. And with this, what is the truth? They're hoping to gain clarity. Like, do you feel it too? Do you see the signs and synchronicities too? 
Did you go to a tarot reader and did they confirm that the both of you are soulmates? Like they want to know what the truth is about this connection because they feel very drawn to you energetically and spiritually. And some of them dream about you or they've been getting a lot of signs about you. And it's freaking them out. But they feel like they can't open up about this to anybody because people are going to feel like they're crazy. So this is really funny. Let's get some initials. This could be your initials. It could be their initials. Also, if you like how I read, you can order a reading. All of the information for that will be in my description box. We have H, L, you are this person, M, O, W, T, M. I'm hearing Matt, Matthew, Matilda, Marianne. Marina, Marina, I don't know. Vincent, Vera. I also heard Viagra Falls, so maybe some of you could be in Canada. So H W O M L S O G M T V P or V V B B as in bird. Um also with this GT, somebody drives a Mustang or they drive a sports car or a really fast car with like horsepower or they drive a nice car or they could be into cars. We have UV. Somebody could be a nail tech or they like getting their nails done. We have Z. We have C-H-A-R-R-A. -R -R -A. Somebody could have been an RA in college or university or some of you know this person from college or university or from work. Some of you have a place that you go in common. This is how you met this person. We have N, R, yeah, see, car came out. This person has a nice car, like they're into cars or something about cars. Maybe they work at a car dealership. We have Z, AI, with AI, artificial intelligence. Maybe this person is very techie. They have all the latest gadgets. We have J, A, Y, E, V. So yeah, this could be your initials or their initials. Ugh, let me see if I can see anything else. We have CA, California is coming up. NY is coming through New York City. Somebody could be connected to New York or California. I just heard Reno, Reno, Nevada. Hmm. Somebody's name could be Ray. Raina, Raymond. Some variation of that name, our names. But yeah, any of these in these letters basically, like I said these are initials. Bowl. Some of them they could be a foodie or maybe you've been bowling with this person before they like going bowling, I don't know. <laughs> We have Owl. This person could be a Scorpio or they could be from Canada. Because Owls always remind me of like the OVO Drake logo. And, you know, he's a Scorpio from Canada. Maybe this person could be a rapper or into music. I don't know. Maybe they like Drake. Maybe they went to a Drake concert. Some of you, this person likes the outdoors. They like to go hiking. They want you to become their significant other. They want a committed relationship with you. Some of you, this person drives a van. Maybe this is someone, again, they like camping, going on road trips. Maybe they want to go on a trip with you. We have BMW. Some of you, this person could drive a BMW or you do. Or a Mustang. Or again, some sort of nice car they drive. A Benz. Look, we have Mary. So this is giving me like giving me like Merry Christmas. Maybe some of them want to spend the um the holidays with you. Go on a trip during the holidays with you. That would make them very happy. But yeah, that's what I'm picking up. 
this I like this was so far I mean I haven't done the last pile yet but so far I really like this message this is really cute hopefully it works out for the two of you all right I'm gonna end it here hopefully this resonated with the vast majority of you guys because this is a really good message especially if you like this person too I mean obviously if they're on your mind this is like a connection a love connection. Anyways, um, infinite abundance as always. You'll see me in your next reading. Bye. SUV. Someone drives an SUV. I just saw. Anyways. All right, last but not least, if you were drawn to this diamond, the blue diamond, we're taking a look at messages from the person on your mind, their thoughts and feelings. Um, because this is connected to the throat chakra with the blue, this is someone who wants to communicate with you, the person on your mind. Maybe there's been little to no communication. Some of you could have recently talked to this person, but if not, um, you're going to end up talking or communicating with this person soon, or at least they want to communicate with you. Okay. I'm hearing block communication. Some of you, maybe you blocked this person or they blocked you. But let's take a look at the cards. Have my kids. I, I want to have a family with you. I know you. I know you'd be an amazing parent. And I dream of the day I can experience raising a family together. So like I said, they want to talk to you. Maybe some of them want to make amends to you. They want to reconcile with you. They want you to have their babies. Like they're into you, period. You feel like home to this person. Being with you reminds me of simpler times. You bring me so much happiness and peace. So yeah, this is someone who really likes you. They again, they want to communicate with you. They want they want something that goes beyond just sex or a hookup. They want the like they want they want the white picket fence, the house, the pets, you know, the cars. They want to they want a life with you. They want to be with you. Some of them they want to they see you as marriage material. I don't feel guilty for how I treated you. My ego is too big to care. But again, for some of you, there's been blocked communication. There's been a falling out. Even though this person likes you, they're in love with you, you feel like home to this person, they want to start a family with you, their ego is what's fucking things up. For some of you, you fell out with this person and they know they're in the wrong, but they want you to reach out first. Very big ego. They want to talk, but they want it to be on their terms. I am, I am embarrassed by my actions and feel disgusted with myself, but they'll never admit that though. Cause their ego, their ego is too big. They act like they don't care. They, they put in a happy face for the world, but deep down inside, they want to talk to you. They want to communicate. They want to fix things, especially if this is someone you've fallen out with. And you know, like I said, it's not going to be for everybody. So if you feel like this isn't your story, then it's probably not, but yeah, this is the story and I'm sticking to it. Yeah, I am the man. This person has a big ass ego, very prideful, very cocky. And they they they're going to have to go through a death of the ego for things to truly work out between the two of you. Cuz I'm picking up some of you are not putting up with that shit. And good for you, and rightfully fucking so. People don't believe in me. I'm picking up this person has a very fragile ego, very fragile ego. And sometimes when people call them out on their shit, it just really like it breaks them. It does something to them like you like words can't even describe because their ego is too big. They think they're they're the man. And so they're they feel like they're too big to admit faults. This is the kind of person that finds it really hard to say they're sorry. Very prideful. But if they could just talk through things and fix things, because they do want to talk to you, I'm picking up this could potentially be a beautiful connection, but they have a lot of work to do on themselves. Some of you block them. Maybe you refuse to talk to them because of their pride. Let me get some letters for you. This one was quick. Okay, so this could be your initials, their initials. So we have J, M, W, H, K, another H, A, U, V, 
someone that does nails or they like to get their nails done. Someone could live in the AUE or be from the AUE. Some of you with this HE, you're dealing with the man who's very prideful. Again, it literally says I am the man. So double A, this is giving me American Airlines. Maybe some of you, this person lives in a different city or state than you. Or maybe you've gone on a trip with this person before. Or maybe they live in a different country even for some of you. A-A-N-B-I-T-A-V. Q, K, Y, my, they, they're very possessive over you as well, too. Amy, Emmy, somebody's name or a variation of that name, Emily. The month of May could be significant or relevant. Maybe you're born in May or they're born in May or the last time you heard from them was in May. We have A, so K, S. A, Q, let me move my hand so you can see better. U, H, V, B, Z, I, O, A, Y, G, G, H. Some of you, you have a nickname, like a double, like G, G, or K, K, or J, J, or like somebody has this uh, double letters in their name for some of you. you. Yeah, you bring this person a lot of joy. Look. Happiness and peace and joy. You bring this person a lot of joy. So they need to, they need to, you know, fix their shit, work on their shit. Yeah, look, big. They have a big ego and big came out. GA is coming out. Maybe somebody lives in Georgia. Someone's name is Ian. Ayana. Anna. Ann. Yeah, these could be initials of somebody's name. Maya is coming up. Maya, somebody's name could be Maya. Chris, Kirby, <laughs> randomly, I'm hearing. IG. Maybe some of you, this person stalks you on IG or you guys met on Instagram or you're going to connect with them again on Instagram. I'm picking up for some of you, this person is going to end up contacting you. It says hi. Some of them also high is the abbreviation for Hawaii. Maybe this is this is someone from a tropical place or some sort of island. But I'm picking up this person. I just randomly heard Kauai. Somebody could be Asian or from Japan. I don't know. But with this high, some of them are going to hit you up and start talking to you like nothing happened. Make them apologize. Hold them accountable. Don't let them get away with what they did. For uh, you know, if that's your story. Yeah, don't make things easy for them with this easy. Hold them accountable. Call them out. VA. Some of, somebody could be from Virginia or the DMV area in general. DC, Maryland, Virginia. British Airways. Somebody could be from the UK. Do we have UK here? No. Nat, Natalie, Nathan, Nat, or some variation of that name. But yeah, that's what I'm picking up. CA, California. Do we have Houston? Do we have an O here? I am picking up on Texas, though, intuitively. Somebody could be, be in Texas, live in Texas. NY, New York City is coming up. New Jersey is also coming up. The East Coast in general. CO, Colorado is coming up. This is random. Czech Republic is coming up and Slovenia. Uh, I probably said that uh, country wrong, but some about Europe is coming up. So maybe, I, I mean, I have people that watch from all, all over the world, you know, people from different backgrounds, so. Ashley, Sean, Ashton, San Marino, 
San Francisco, Santa Ana, Huey, Jason, Jake, hmm. somebody drives an, an SUV, or they like cars or into cars, Susan, Susanna, Suzette, hmm. BMW, somebody could drive a BMW, you are this person. Oh, Ben is coming up. Somebody drives a Benz. I just heard big body Benz, Benz. Yes, yeah, literally here, Benz. Benji, Benjino. I don't know. <laughs> Not Benjino. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm going to end it here. I have too, too much fun with this. We have Kiev is coming up. Ukraine? Somebody from Europe? Somewhere? I don't know. Anyways, love you guys. Talk soon. Infinite abundance as always. If you like your if you would like your own reading, check out my description box. Everything will be in, down below. If it resonated, fine. If it doesn't, that's fine too. Like I said, this isn't gonna be for everybody. Okay, bye, infinite abundance.